in the NFL playmaker. Now, and, and, and when I look at this, I'm looking at for this sake here, Mahomes and Herbert. And, and, and in that, I, I would still, even though I love what I see in Justin Herbert, but the dude is playing some great football. I'm still taking Patrick Mahomes. And, I, and, and I'm talking, taking him in this sense when I talk about this now. I'm talking about the most physically gifted, talented quarterback we have in the National Football League right now. You, you, you move him from, removing him from his team. He, he, I'm, I'm taking Patrick Mahomes over everybody. If you tell me, Pick one quarterback you're going to start a franchise with right now. We don't know what system he's running. We don't know what team he's going to be with. It's going to be Patrick Mahomes. The best quarterback in the National Football League, most physically gifted right now, is Patrick Mahomes. Best, it, it, no doubt, over Justin Herbert. Even though now, it's not saying he's – I love what I'm seeing with Justin Herbert. He, he, he's playing MVP-type quarterbacking right now for the Chargers. But you tell me one quarterback, I'm taking Patrick Mahomes. Me personally, it will always be Aaron Rodgers. Um, <clears throat> I never brought into the hype that Patrick Mahomes did things that we've never seen Aaron Rodgers do. Um, I believe Aaron Rodgers to be, as a talent, not as a resume, but as a talent, the most gifted quarterback we've ever seen in NFL history. Now, Patrick Mahomes obviously has come on board and has shown us stuff that puts him right there. And if you want to say even keel or whatever, based on what we saw the previous two seasons, so be it. But I'm, a, I'm an Aaron Rodgers guy. That's right. number one. Number two, <clears throat> right now, I think it needs to be said, I don't even have Patrick Mahomes as the best quarterback in the AFC. And that could change. It could change back to normalcy. But when you take into account the Super Bowl and when you take into account what we've seen these five games right. over the season, when you take into account some of the uncharacteristic turnovers, what we're doing is saying that what Patrick Mahomes did over the previous two years was so Herculean, so sensational, okay, that this is an aberration, and I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that we're looking at this season right now in terms of who's having a better year. Right. I got news for you. I'm of the mindset that right now Justin Herbert looks better. Yeah. Josh yeah, Allen looks better. better. Year. Josh Allen yeah. and right. Justin Herbert both look better. Let me get to Justin Herbert. Better year. The brothers got 13 touchdowns on the season. Mm -hmm. Right. At least five of them have come in the fourth quarter when they were down and needed a touchdown. Mm -hmm. This brother isn't just an elite performer. He's also clutch. But he can also run with now. I don't know. I'm not talking to I said team. Justin. I'm I just said quarterback. No, no, I want you to I pull him out. No, I said Justin. I said Justin Herbert. Herbert I, over Mahomes. I think pull he, he can make all the out. he can make all the requisite throws. He can run with the football as well and he shows up in the clutch in terms of his passing ability. That's what I look for from a quarterback position and I think he delivers that. Okay, he's about six, 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 seven. He can see over the offensive line and then over the line of scrimmage. This is the thing that bothers me. Every time I say a positive word about Justin Herbert, okay. it breaks my heart because Brian Flores and Chris Gray in Miami pass no, on no, him no. to a tongue of a load. Oh, yeah, let that and, and I can't, has to let that go. I can't. You know why we can't go. let it go? Because nobody else is going to. And if Justin Herbert continues to look this way and no. Tua don't come back and show us something, it's going to stain their resume forever, and I don't want that. Yeah, that, but, but, but listen, listen, and, and you're right about how Justin Herbert's playing right now. You're, you're right about how the Chargers playing. But, but I'm talking about if you said you're going to start a franchise right now, are you taking Justin Herbert over Patrick Mahomes? No, but the only – hold, hold on, Mike. That's right. not fair because the only reason I would say no is because Justin Herbert just started – and, and right. Patrick Mahomes got a two-year head start. Yeah, but just a two-year head start. I'm just saying, start. but I'm just saying, it's, it's two years. So, so but I'm saying this. It's not like he's running away and Herbert. Wait a minute. What if Justin Herbert, what if Justin Herbert takes these no. charges to the Super Bowl? What are we going to say? The point is, I don't have the time. You're right. I don't have the length of a resume to defer to Justin Herbert over Patrick Mahomes. But when I look at his ability, I don't see anything that Justin Herbert can't do. Right. I don't see that. But, but, but will he and can he when that time comes and we have seen Patrick Mahomes do it over and over again to the point where nobody has ever done it the way he has done it. He has the most pass and rush we TDs over the first 50 games, which is 135. You know, the next closest guy to him is Dan Marino with 118. If score, playing quarterback, playing the quarterback position produces touchdowns, nobody has produced more and produced them uh -huh. better uh -huh. than, than, than Patrick me. Mahomes. Yes, you did. So, so I'm you're talking give, about – giving facts, but you're not giving proper context. 
first of all, they weren't running the football that much. You got Tyreek Hill. You got Travis Kelsey, okay, as far as I'm concerned, two future so, so, Hall of so, Famers. Two right, future Hall right, of Famers. Right. We just learning about how gifted Mike Williams is. Mm -hmm. Keenan Allen has no been doubt. that dude. By the way, no disrespect to Anthony Lynn. I wish him nothing but the best. But that's who was coaching you the previous years before Brandon Staley took over and unleashed and reminded everybody of a Sean McVay type coach. Right. Okay, this is what's happening with Justin Herbert this year. And last year with Anthony Lynn as coach, with them blowing one lead after another right. because the defense couldn't stop anybody. Listen. Justin Herbert had 31 touchdowns as a rookie. <laughs> Listen. Uh, 10 interception. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, a bad boy, a bad yeah. boy. But I'm talking about Patrick Holmes, still the best quarterback. Justin Herbert is on his way. Okay. He's on Look his way. Patrick Holmes, young and young. Look at the it, it, it's not, it's not like he has. Uh, it, it's not like he's resume, 10 years Molly. older than Patrick. It's not like he's 10 years hey, older than Kyler Justin Murray's got the He's best a young guy, too. The I'm just deferring saying. to the and resume. I'm now. just saying. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Everybody, welcome into First Take on a Monday. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. We are still in LA. My guy, Love the that. Hall of Famer, the Playmaker, <laughs> Michael Irvin. Top What's of the up, morning my brother? to you, sir. Hey, top of the morning to both of you guys, man. I'm so jealous you got to go to that my fight, brother. man. I don't know what to he do. He was so <laughs> salty. He had the <laughs> London game 2 -third. You want me to call Charlie Euchre or oh, right. Quinzel uh, and, and tell him to let, 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 let you let, off? Right. Let me tell you the deal. Molly. Fight number two oh. between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. You and I were at that Yes. Time. Saturday night. Uh, Y'all yeah. missed something special. Uh, it was another level, I mean, we'll get into that right? later on. It was uh, another level. I'm going to say this to you. You got the Thriller in Manila, maybe a couple other fights. Yeah. It was one of the greatest fights I've ever seen. And it is the greatest fight yeah. I ever attended in my career, which now spans more than a quarter century. I have never been in attendance wow. for a fight. That epic. It like Tyson was cool. It's cool. Way to rub it in. I'm just telling y'all. I'm just looking out for y'all. I like the suit, you know by the way. That was Tyson's fight. Like that no. Man, are you joking? It was bigger than that. It was no. bigger than that. I'm talking about the actual fight itself. Oh, my God. It was bigger than that. Oh, it was I'm having that. serious no, FOMO that. right now. Yeah, but I did I know, see all the football it. games. Football we were games. there for that. So let's do it. Okay, so if you didn't stay up through the hour-plus weather's delay, we got you. A potential AFC Championship preview Sunday night. Buffalo put the smack down on the two-time defending AFC champs in Impressive 38 to 20 win at Arrowhead. Josh Allen outplayed Patrick Mahomes, who had two interceptions and a forced fumble. KC is reevaluated. I mean, you kind of have to just take it on the chin. I mean, you got to get better. I mean, that's that's at the end of the day, that's what we got to do. Um, still got a long season left, um, but it's definitely this is one you're going to remember. Um, and so uh, that's a good football team. Don't get me wrong, but uh, we don't lose football games like that, especially at home. It's a simple game. <laughs> Cover your guy, make the tackle inside out. And when you don't do those things, it, it's embarrassing. It looks bad. I love me some honey badger. Savage. Mm. Uh, Michael, I'll start with you. Do you still think the Chiefs can get to the Super Bowl? The Chiefs have a quarterback. We all know him. Yeah. Named Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he's he's the, the greatest gift God has given us right now in the National Football League. And, 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 and yes... Even watching Patrick Mahomes right there talk through uh, the problems. And he and, and he's being the right guy. He's putting it on himself. He says, I have to take care of the football. I have to take care of the football. They they, they do have to take care of the football. They turned the ball over 12 giveaways over, over his last six games. So they do have to take care of the ball. But if you look deeper into it and don't just read the stats, you will see that even the interceptions aren't his fault. You know, he's doing the right thing by taking it on. But 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 the ball went right through Tariq Hill's hand. Yep. They, they took it back for pick six. And yep. the other interception by my boy from the University of Miami, uh, Ruzo, it was just a great play. He batted down the ball, batted the ball his own, his own, his own self, and then took it and went back. When you get to through when you get through the regular season, you get to the playoffs. There's a certain thing called there's a certain thing called playoff pressure. Mm -hmm. This man is tested. Mm -hmm. He is tested. We're watching other teams beat That's him fair. right now. But those guys aren't playoff tested like he is. As long as they have him, even with that defense that they are playing with, that seems like they are taking over what the Cowboys had last year. And I call that Oprah Winfrey defense. You, 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 everybody get what you want. Yards, touchdowns. Even with that defense, mm -hmm. the Kansas City Chiefs can still get to a Super Bowl. As long 
as they have Patrick Mahomes. Now, they got to change mm -hmm. their way mm -hmm. of going about moving that right, ball right. because they're, people are not giving up okay. the big plays. Okay. You got to come on down and start okay. breaking it down. Okay. But as long as they got him, you better believe okay, they Okay, here's can. a couple of things. Number one, at least have the decency on a Monday morning to wait a few minutes before you get on my damn nerves with that drivel spewing out of your mouth. That is nonsense. You are lying to the American public. The Kansas City Chiefs are done. Let me say it right now. Whoa, okay. yeah, whoa. You, you, you're saying they're done. Week they're going five to isn't they're even going, complete. They're going to the postseason, sure, because of that dude, oh. Patrick Mahomes. Oh. Their, their defense is trash. They can't stop a cold. Let's mm -hmm. just call it what it is, okay? They're awful. They're the worst defense in the league in points allowed, second worst right. in yards allowed, second worst against the run. Don't get me started with what they are against the pass. They are an atrocity. And, oh, by the way, Steve Spagnuolo, I thought this was a, a defensive coordinator that was a Super Bowl champion. Wasn't he the defensive coordinator for the New York Giants in 2007 when they won the Super Bowl, when they beat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots? Suddenly, mm. he can't coach defense? I mean, my God. They're awful. They're awful. Now, we like Honey Badger, so we don't want to hold him too responsible because we know that brother right. can play. He don't can play. get me started with Sorensen. He got smoked. Don't get me started with Sneed. He got smoked. Oh, by the way, when you look at, I mean, some dude, Dawson Knox, is that his name? I mean, this dude, Knox, for the Buffalo Bills, he had a big-time game, okay? Stephon Diggs didn't even get off that much. Didn't have to. This defense is horrible. And so what happens is what you're seeing from the Kansas City Chiefs is a quarterback in Patrick Mahomes that's trying to be the hero. As, right, as, right. And he's more than capable right. of trying right. to play hero ball right. because he knows we can't stop anybody. He ain't going to say that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to say that. Right. Right, he's, right, gonna, right. he's not going to come out there and say, you know All what, though, man? True. We can't stop a cold. Can't All stop flu. True. Can't stop the. I All mean, especially true. in the age of the Rona, we can't even stop a cold. I mean, that's how All bad the Kansas City true. Chiefs are. They are awful defensively. And because of that, there are a plethora of teams within the AFC alone. That is right. better than them because they are more well-balanced, more complete teams. Certainly, they have to stop play, stop turning over the ball. We understand that. Right. But predictably, listen, right. we've seen them in playoff games, AFC championship games, be held to a deficit, and then they come on strong. The problem well, is you, their you, defense somehow, some way, you, you, has you, gotten worse. You, you take setup so easily. Really? I mean, you, you take them so easy. Do I? And you I see how you, you jump right on what the defense is. And, and, and I'm telling you, you you're, you're right. The defense right. is horrible. But defenses can click and turn quickly. Mm -hmm. Can click and turn quickly. I sat right on stage. We were in New York when I told you how the Cowboys defense would turn. You were like, oh, you laughed. Okay, you laughed. Hold you hold said no way a defense. That was last season. That, but, but still, that was last but, season but, you but, said that. Was okay, I right last okay, season? Okay, okay. Was I right last but, season? But, but I'm saying, I'm saying was I right defensive last football, defensive football is about desire. It's about want to. It's about assignment. It's yeah. about assignment. Now, what I'm about to tell you, okay. are there are ways that Patrick Mahomes, as great as he is, and I know he's trying to do too much throwing the ball all over the field, can help that defense. Mm -hmm. And that's be that, that is if he starts matriculating the ball a little bit. They're looking for all big plays, mm -hmm. all big plays. That's what they look for all the time because they have been hooked on, on, on the drug of the big play all the time in, in the National Football League. They're, you're going to want, you're going to have to win the Super Bowl using your left hand. They're going to make you do what you don't do great. So and what went, is that for the Chiefs? And, and they need to start moving the ball down the field no, slowly. They, well, and they he can do that. They yes, no, they don't. They do. no, they don't. Yes, oh, he does. Say, and he can do this. What you stand up for? And he can do this. He can do this. And see, <laughs> because cause we get caught up. And everybody wanted to see the big thing. Right. And, and, and instead of you moving that ball of down, all the, people I'm just that. telling you, you I'm people telling you, that. that's what he need. And, and they could get it done. Tell this this team, uh, I'm but telling Stephen you. Stephen A., to that point, 11 mm. turnovers, the Chiefs. That's tied for the most in the NFL with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sure. Sure, so so sure. clearly, but that's just him trying too much. That's him trying. Too many mistakes I'm, with the I'm, big I'm plays. I'm very disappointed with your question, Molly. Why? Because you haven't caught the hypocrisy of this man. You so busy focusing. You so busy focusing on whoa, trying to question me. You, know you haven't caught his hypocrisy. No, let, me tell, let, let me tell you what his hypocrisy is. Let me tell you what his hypocrisy is. Oh, let me see where you're going with this. Let me see. I already know. We are sitting across from a three-time Super Bowl champion, right? How did the Cowboys win no Super Bowl? Big plays. Oh, no, 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 we moved the ball now. You moved the ball. We, run, we ran, the ball. ran the ball. Yeah. You ran you the ball. Ran the right, ball. Right, right, right. Yeah. Last year, against these mean. Buffalo Bills, I mean, the, Chief, the Buffalo dared them to run the football. What did they do? They ran right. it. Last night, they ran right. it about 12, 12, 13 times. Right. Clyde Edwards and had the ball seven times. Yeah. Okay, it. so you're trying to fling the football. Fling. Right. You didn't engage in ball control, moving the chains, exercise patience. You know why? 
The right. Buffalo Bills sat on the field last night daring you to run the football. What they did was say, it's not about winning. We want to win our way as Correct. opposed to but winning Stephen the way that was when, made when, available when to them. When you get behind, right. you can't do that. Come out. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You got to understand. You got, wait a minute. You down 14 points. We've seen Patrick Mahomes race a 14 point deficit in three minutes. He yeah. was 14 you can run the ball. It was the first quarter. The Rock, Emmett Smith style. Yeah. You got to you, do that you can from run the jump. The ball. Then they got behind. They, they don't have that ability with Patrick to Mahomes, consistently with Patrick run the Mahomes, ball like that. Patrick Mahomes, but they can. They that's can, why so I'm they saying they use the anything. short passing game Tom, like a run game. Wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. What I, and I, what I'm saying to you because the fear of Patrick Mahomes is so real. They were daring you to run the damn Correct. football. That's right. why you can run the football for Kansas City. That's why any running back can come there and look relatively decent. Right. Because you're right. worried about Patrick Mahomes, which you know. Well, and, and, and you have to understand that Andy Reid, the mad genius that he is, mm. and, 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 and this, this Michael Jordan dude he has at quarterback, He's not going to say, I'm taking it out of his I'm not hands sure he's to put it in the running back hands. I'm not sure he's Michael Jordan I'm okay, I'm, uh, that. Uh, what do you mean? What do right. you, right. you mean you're not right. sure he's Michael say, Jordan? Save your glasses. Get out of here. We will revisit this subject. We, we had another just, big one, and it came down to the wire and is. SoFi. Justin Herbert and the Chargers showing they can rally in these big games. Herbert had his record 11, 300-yard game, 398 yards passing, and tied a career high with four touchdowns as the Chargers rallied for a 47-42 victory over the Cleveland Browns. This game saw one tie in eight lead changes, four in the final 15 minutes when the teams combined for 41 points. On the other side, Baker Mayfield, his 10th 300-yard passing game. Here he is. Obviously, that's why we lost. So you didn't make enough plays to, to win the game. And that goes for everybody on our team. So we didn't do that. Um, like I said, we left too many points on the board in the first half. Uh, I don't think it would have been the same outcome with needing a, a touchdown to, to tie the ball game up late in the game if we had done that early on. So I'm not going to be happy about it. We didn't win the damn game. So that's that's truly all that matters to me. You know, I'm going to be hard on myself regardless. And um, I didn't do enough today to win the game. Okay. Let me take you behind the curtain. So while we're playing that sound, Michael's just nodding his head. This is good. This is good. This is good. I I don't know if it's good. I don't know if this man can get it done in the fourth quarter. I don't know. Can the Browns win with Baker Mayfield? Now, what we get caught up in is trying to make everybody win a certain way. The, the, The way this team is set up, the way this team is set up, running the football, playing great defense, and asking Baker to make a few plays here, make a few plays there, and Baker can make those plays. So when you will about yesterday those that was a great game baker still had 300 yards throwing the ball two tds he had 122 passer rating so so don't come in here saying that big why y'all looking at me like this here because like, i'm waiting to hear like, what like, was good what how, was how good? can you not believe this team hey, that defense yesterday gave up 40 Tom Brady, right. does this guy have that? Because that's what it's going to be. I trust the, the team that he has around him in the way they try, the way they play football. I, you, he, you're not asking him to be Patrick Mahomes. So to ask me, do I trust him on the level? I trust Patrick, Patrick Mahomes would be an invalid question because the answer would have to be absolutely no. But do I trust him within the system of how they play football? Like Nick Chubb rushing for 161 yards. Absolutely, I do within that framework because I'm asking him not to take over the game, but make sure no. you just don't make I the love, bad play to hurt I, the game. I love this uh, when one of the promos when they showed you you was dancing while I was doing my A list in the Big D. When I when I showed up to visit you, you were dancing because you dancing now. You dancing now. That's what you do. I'm, 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 I'm giving you the <laughs> truth. <laughs> I'm I'm giving you the real. No, 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 no. You ain't giving me you the real. real. Here's Let's the real. Tell hold, tell on, about hold on. Hold on. Here's the real. You ain't, about no, you ain't winning no title with no Baker Mayfield. It's too many roadblocks. Now, we understand. Wait a minute. Tell me Nick the Chubb is a stud. Nick Chubb is a stud. That brother is something special. All right? And Kareem Hunt, they're a dynamic duo in the backfield. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough Roblox. that their defense is not as bad as it looked yesterday. Giving they gave up 16 points, points a game. I, yesterday, I, they gave up 47. I, I totally understand. I, it's an aberration, which is why right. we're we going to have a discussion about Justin Herbert a little bit later on in this show. Okay. Because that's a brother that's worthy of being talked about. Having said all of that, here's the reality of the situation. You have a 14-point lead. You can stop the bleeding. 
Baker Mayfield wasn't able to do that. You could talk about his numbers in terms of his 300 yards, but ultimately you had a cushion against the charges that you wasn't able to hold on to. And when I look at it from that perspective, I'm thinking about when it was time for Stefanski to rely on somebody, to rely on somebody. He sat up there and, excuse me, listen, even in the last possession, you, all you needed, you had, you had to go down there, you had to get, what are you doing spending so much time, like 50 seconds or so, just to get 10 yards? You just look at some of the decisions that are being made, some of the decisions that Baker Mayfield made. He's good. He's talented. But when you look at Justin Herbert, you saw somebody that's just on another level. You see, when you look yep, at the Cleveland yep, yep, Browns, hey, you look at the Cleveland mm -hmm. Browns, it's because of Miles Garrett and that crew on defense and because of what they got going on in the backfield that makes you say they're going to be just fine. Baker Mayfield ain't the reason. And I'll tell you what the most glaring thing is, okay, which, is but once again, time, time, which is once again what you missed. See, How in God's name do you target Odell Beckham Jr. Two times. three times. Two, he two he catches. Two, 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 right, two right, catches right, 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 right. for Odell and, and, Beckham and, and, Jr. And, and, now, Joku had a big game. And, he had a 70-yard touchdown. And, and you're touchdown. proving my yeah, point. But you, you, you're telling me all the great things that have happened. You have, you, 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 you threw it Beckham. out there. But you never brought to the jury the roadblocks can you're I, talking I, can, about. Can, can, I heard you say, let me tell you about the roadblocks that I never heard about. Can I take 10 seconds? Okay, give me the roadblocks. Here's the deal. Baker Mayfield. When you think about the Cleveland Browns, you think about everything but the quarterback. Anytime that's the case, it ain't going to give you a Super Bowl, bro. It ain't going to give it but, to but you. But it has. It gonna, it, it's it, not going to happen. It, it has with the He's Ravens. Gonna, when, when they did it with Trent, you can do that. You can it's win. It's very rare. I'm just saying it's not going to happen. It's very rare. That's why the AFC wasn't back what it was back right. then. The AFC and, 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 and now no isn't what it back, was then back then. That defense, that defense. That, that, that defense, that's one of the top-ranked defense. If they play like they play, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, oh, my God. These are beasts, dog. These are beasts. Okay. Big time now, running now, now Big what time I've running always game. said, what I've always said with Cleveland is, yeah, they're going to need Odell Beckham Jr. because Odell Beckham – it's the big play. He's the spark. You're going to need that to match up with those teams. Now we'll talk about the Chargers, but the teams like the Chiefs. And they and they Njoku, he gave it to him yesterday. And I'm telling you what right. you just said. Odell ain't even jumped in this thing yet. Okay. When Odell jumped in this okay. thing, Cleveland will hit yeah. another level. That. That's why you I'm saying say, you uh, can't say that when there's always they're going been, to work there's always in. been a question about yeah. Odell and Baker Mayfield. In terms of their cohesiveness together, that's always been a question yeah, yeah, yeah. mark. And you know when, that. But that's when they were trying that. to find the identity for the right. offense. Now the right, identity is the set door. for the offense. Odell has, has to play his role in this offense, and that'll give them something you know special. You're wrong. You know you. No, wrong. I'm telling you, you know you're wrong. You, 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 okay, 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 okay. You, you can't let's expect Baker to be Patrick Mahomes, but he right. has enough Baker to get his team there. Baker has 44 total QBR, 25th amongst quarterbacks. And when I asked that question, I didn't mean he has to be Patrick Mahomes. I just meant when the game's on the line, can you count on him? Does he have that clutch? That clutch. And, and, I should have and, and, and let me tell you Patrick Mahomes. And, and why what makes him have at least the thought of that clutch thing is that he's willing to take the shot. Okay. I know dudes that ain't willing to take the shot. Okay. He's willing right. to take the shot. And he has the players to help right. him. Make Stephen it. A. He's brave. Stephen A. Yeah. Well, it takes that. It takes right, that. You got to be willing to on take here, the guys. shot. He's willing Who's to make the, the throw. Who's the team to beat in <laughs> the on, AFC man. right Come now? On, man. <sighs> It's a toss between the Chargers and the Bills. Anybody ask you about a toss? I'm going to go with the Bills. I'm going to go with the Bills. Anybody ask you about a toss, then? All right, come on now. All right. I don't know why you say that, dude. Say it with your chest out. Right, right, right. No, no, let's do this over. Let's do this over. No, 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 time out. Do it over. Right. Okay, excuse me. Stephen A. The Buffalo Bills. I didn't even ask. Okay. The Buffalo Bills. Why? Tell me why and say it with your chest out. I think, honestly, they're the most well-balanced team in the AFC at this particular moment in time. We've got questions about Baltimore's passing game. You saw me having questions about Cleveland's quarterback. Um, okay. Of course, I don't give a damn what the Pittsburgh Steelers did yesterday. I'm happy they won a game, but we all know they've got some huge question marks. Mm -hmm. We look at the rest of the AFC. It's not what we thought it was going to be. It's Buffalo's division, and then there's everybody else. And when you look at the AFC West, the Raiders have come crashing down to reality like I told y'all they would do. That's the, the only the, wrong the, I the, have. The, 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 the Chargers defense wrong. is suspect. Oh. I don't care what anybody says. OK, and so when I look at the AFC, I'm just of the mindset that their balance combined with the acquisition of Emmanuel Sanders uh -oh. stretching their vertical game. When I look at their secondary on the defensive side of the ball led by Micah Hyde, I'm just viewing Buffalo as a team that is the more well-balanced team in the AFC at this particular moment in time. That's where I'm at with it. I, I like the Buffalo is expanding.
because last year it was all about Stephon Diggs. Now you're seeing he's finding other people yes. and, 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 and making plays. But balance, Buffalo doesn't have a run game. Buffalo's using the quarterback basically to run the football, and, and he did a great job. He did a great job. Great job, yesterday. and he has been doing a great job, running, rush for a lot of touchdowns. But, boy, I'm going to tell you something. Justin Herbert and them Chargers, man, oh, my God. Yeah. To see what they look like right now, Stephen A., it, it, it's scary. It is absolutely scary to see the way that young man is playing football right there. I mean, he's an incredible – it just don't – threw for another 398 yards yesterday. Dropped another four TDs on your bench. There you go right there. Got him a rush TD. So he's a great athlete. He can move around. But the key to what the Chargers are doing right now – is Mike Williams. You want to talk about balance, this is the balance team. Mm -hmm. This is the balance team. Mike Williams is playing out of his mind now. And I must admit when I talked to the Chargers here, I was wrong because I thought no way should they change offenses. No way should they put this kid in another. And he has shown I was absolutely wrong. He has picked up this new system and opened up Mike Williams. He has 165 yards yesterday. Now, now, now you, you knew Keenan Allen was a bad boy. Right. You always knew that. But we've been waiting on Mike Williams to step up and show up and play up like he's been doing this year right here. And now the Chargers right now with that defense. You know what they got on the front end on the defense in both. So you know what they get back in on James. Mm -hmm. They right now, I, I, I say Top of the team in the AFC um, right now. Um, and I can't even – I don't even mention who they already beat. Okay. okay. You know they already beat. Right. They beat them Raiders that the only people I was right. wrong about right. 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 on this okay. team. No, no, we'll get to you how wrong you were. I was just wrong about one thing. On the show. No, on no, one thing on the Raiders. You certainly ain't batting a 1,000. Let's leave it at that. That, that, was, that the, was the wrong. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> now, here's the deal. <laughs> wrong. Michael Irvin, did you know that the Buffalo Bills have the number one offense in the NFL? Yes. Did you know that they have the number one defense in the NFL? Yes. Yes. So they're number one so in both offenses. So you balance this area. And, and, and they're number one in both <laughs> offense and okay, defense. Okay. Okay. okay, okay All right. Okay, I'm okay, looking okay. at them right now. They're okay. top two against the pass. They're top three against the rust. They're the only team in the NFL with two shutouts on the season, albeit against Miami and Houston. Right. Nevertheless, there's two shutouts, not even a field goal. All I'm trying to say to you is this. When you look at that, and you look at that level of balance, and then you look at how they smacked around Kansas City last night, because that's exactly what the hell that they did. All I'm Kansas saying to City. you is this. I'm looking at the charges, and I get what you're saying because I love me some Herbert. Mike Williams is a bad boy. Keenan Allen, we ain't got nothing. We ain't even got to talk about him. Eckler is not somebody that we can't ignore. And that's the but, man. That's but, the man. But on too many occasions, we've right. seen people moving the football and them not necessarily being able to make, to make stops from time to time. I'm saying we ain't seen that from Buffalo. And as a result of that, I'm paying attention to the impact this defense has had. And by the way, when you talk about their rushing game, I will remind you that Devin Singletary does average more than five yards per carry. This is a man, this is, this is not somebody that can't run the football. They just haven't had too much because their defense is making plays. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sanders has, has stretched their vertical game. We all know what Stephon Diggs brings to the table. Cole be Beasley Buffalo. is not somebody to ignore. You should appreciate him. He's a former yeah, Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, made a name for himself and, and, being a Cowboy. Right. You didn't bring that up, did you? And, and they okay? beat the Chiefs, so we're talking about it. But they also lost to the Steelers. At the beginning, we like, you told me it was over today. Right you yeah, told right. me it was over today. You said yeah, yeah, it was like preseason. It was over today. It was still on their record. I'm just saying. And we are we are to bring that up. When you take it to the jury, I got Dak Prescott downplayed the near one-year anniversary of getting injured against the New York Giants after the Cowboys capitalized on a banged-up Giants team 44-20. to Prescott off to a slow start, including a pick on the first drive and a botch snap on the third that kept the Giants in the game early. But once he threw that bomb to C.D. Lamb, it turned around. Uh, yes, absolutely. And the Gi they were really playing the Giants' second team. They were without seven of their 11 offensive starters. Michael, I'm going to come to you on this one. Are the Cowboys the best team in the NFL right now? Right now. Right now. I, I, I look around. I see the teams. And I think first about the teams that were in the Super Bowl. Those teams were in the Super Bowl, Tampa Bay, Kansas City. We, see, we just talked about Kansas City. Chiefs to see what Tampa is right now. All the other teams are working. All other teams are working. Right now. It's been about 30 seconds. The Dallas the Cowboys future. are the best team in the NFL. They're playing the best football <laughs> in the National <laughs> what? Football League. Stephen A., just the discussion before, you, th you threw out balance. That's the first word. You base your whole discussion and your argument on balance. 
There is no team in the National Football League right now more balanced than the Dallas Cowboys. And now you took balance offensively and defensively. Balance comes on offense. Balance comes on defense. Dallas has them on both. Dallas can beat you with the run game and okay. Ezekiel Elliott in the past. Uh, can and, and can Dak we pull Prescott up a full game. screen that I have for Michael? That, yeah, absolutely. Please what, what, pull, up, pull up this full screen for what, what, Michael. Was, was, this is a Giants fan right here. I just want to say yeah, one yeah, thing. Yes, I get that yeah, your oh, Cowboys are good. Oh, let's, let's get this really quick. Are oh, you, you seeing the injuries? Seven yes, of their yes, 11 yes, offensive yes, starters. Yes, Maybe this is a little aggressive yes, like yes, in yes, terms of the win. It was their second team out there. Yes. Listen. Unfortunately, those guys, a lot of guys got hurt, and we hope they all get well and, and, and get back on the football field. The reality is, this is not the only game that we're making these decisions off of. We have a handful of games, and we're putting them all together. And when you're trying to measure as a team who through a season, you're trying to see what things they added each week. And Dallas is now adding a consistent a consistency to their balanced attack. That you can't. I can't worry about who's on the football field. I got to do what I have to do on the football field, and they're adding a consistency. I, w- I would usually worry about a game like the Giants were yesterday, because the Giants have given Dallas some issues yeah. in in Dallas, in Dallas, and I was worried, and I knew it was the one year anniversary, or if you want to call it that, or, or, or the one year from of the, the date injury, that the, the injury, yeah. of course. I, I knew that. And I was like, man, I hope they can rise to this occasion. And they did. <laughs> uh-uh, I, know, don't you, I know y'all going to bring up the injuries, but they Penny did. Galladay, they put this game Daniel out Jones, of reach. We can talk Sean about Berkeley. how they did it. They've done every, every, every yeah. game they've had this year. They made great progress is what I'm saying. And that's why I say right now, you got to say the Cowboys are the best team right now. And we take your argument of balance in the National Football League. First of all, don't take my argument. Make your own. Yeehaw! Them cowboys! Yeehaw! That's all right. Listen, I'm not going to front and act like what I'm not seeing is impressive. Oh. Um, I'm not going to front like that. But you know what? Here's the one argument that all of you nauseating, disgusting cowboy lovers out there have missed thus far. The number one component you have in your favor is luck. That's the number one. Oh, my God. Let me explain. Let me explain. Oh, my God. Let me explain. Stay with me. Anyone can say that but you. That's right. Exactly. It is, it is, All right, whatever. Here's the deal. You, you got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You open tonight, right? Yeah. They beat you. Okay, that's fine. Then oh. you go up against the Chargers. Dak didn't have his best game. Keenan Allen fell in the end zone. All right? Plus, you fumbled once in the end zone. So you had 14 points. You just gave away right there. Okay, so you got that game. Then you had then you had the Eagles, which is damn near bye week, okay? You got Carolina. They didn't have Christian McCaffrey. And then yesterday, what do we yeah. see? We see all of these injuries. Come, first of all, Daniel Jones, even though that was his fault. That's not Dallas's fault. That was his fault. He, he shouldn't have ran like that. He got concussed. Yeah. Saquon Barkley, you know, conv- yeah. conveniently, Ooh. one of your Cowboys stuck their foot out there. This brother twists his ankle. He got Kenny Gallagher, he got there's concussed. also three Kenny offensive Gallagher. linemen. Okay. The, there's way more names that should be on that full screen. Up. He can't even show up. All I'm saying is you is this i told you weeks ago after about week nine or ten y'all should be like eight or nine and one that's what you should be because i said this cupcake schedule that you have before you get to some real competition i'm not talking about the first two games because obviously the bucks and the Chargers are legit i'm talking right. about everybody else all i'm saying is it's cool it's cool it's, it hurts me because i don't get to troll y'all just yet what, what, i gotta what, wait, wait a little wait, bit wait, don't, don't I slip wait. that part I, I, in I gotta, I gotta spend some more time right there on that listen. part it hurts me <laughs> just spend some time on that it hurts me, part. You went p- right past that. Let's talk, talk about that right there. <laughs> talk about that. Listen, what do you I'm, mean I'm by it hurts me? I'm going to tell you why it hurts me. Why it hurts me. Because, Don't go by that. <laughs> because there is, listen. Get it out. I was at, listen, I was, at, I, was at, I was in Vegas at the hotel. Yeah. Dude walks up to me. I'm going to breakfast. Yeah. Stephen A. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I like, what was it? He's wearing a uh, Ezekiel Elliott jersey. Yeah. I see an old grandma. Uh, God, oh, it's coming out. Okay, it's coming out. Nice. No, 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 no. I'm just I'm being very nice. I love, I, 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 love, I love my elders. I love yeah. my elders, and I respect them. But I'm just saying, grandma, how about them cowboys <laughs> whispering it to me? You know what I'm saying? I had, had some dudes at a poker table. I don't play poker, but I had some dudes. I'm walking by the poker table. Come on over here. Sit with us. Every single one of them. 
had on a cowboy jersey. And then I walked down to the other part of the casino, real, and it buddy. was a table. Every single one of them had on a cowboy hat and boots. You couldn't make this up. This is in Vegas. This is in Vegas. And I'm sitting there like this. They travel. I, can, I can't escape. <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're like cockroaches. Then no matter what's now. going on, they're going to come right out. Now, you I'm can't find them. This isn't the week to fuck your chest out. You know that. You know that was a cheap win. You know that. Oh, my God. Listen, again, again, there's no such thing as a cheap win in the National Football League. This is a hard league where everybody gets paid to play. He's a great player across the board. Go ahead. Go ahead, Across the board. Okay. Go ahead, Across the board. Now, 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 when we talk about best teams, Stephen A., because you said one thing. You talked about you, – you, 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 gave, you gave them a pass. Who? You, 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 who do you mean who? who? You gave the Bills a pass when you talk about their first, their first game. Oh, yeah, I give them a pass. But the Cowboys, who played excellent in their first game, after that was – you, oh, oh, you, you, you just they played count them as offensively. nothing. I didn't think they played excellent defensively. They, 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 I didn't think they, so. They, they, got the, they turned over Tom Brady. So? They turned over Tom Brady. Trevon Diggs turned over, turned over everybody. What are we talking about? He turned over everybody, huh? We just tripping on him. Oh, he turns over everybody. That's why that defense is so dangerous. Man, I'm telling you right here, right now, right here, the mm -hmm. Dallas Cowboys playing the best football in the National Football I, League. But you know and what? It but, but feels I'm not, good. I'm not, I'm not upset that you said it. I love the fact that you it blow that you good. listen to me. I love the fact that you blow V8 sticking out your chest because that means cowboy fans everywhere are gonna do that. Y'all gonna build up those expectations. And all that means is that the fall <laughs> is gonna be that much more yeah. dramatic. It's gonna hurt that much. Y'all go ahead and y'all have y'all fun. Know. I'll give you this. It won't be a miserable Thanksgiving. But, but, but that I'll climb that, that we also take you on, that climb that we're going to take you on, on up the schedule, it's going, on through it's the playoffs. Come. Okay. It's we're going, going to come. Let them talk, Molly. <laughs> Their time is coming. Soon. You wait and see. But let's Best give props to Trayvon Diggs about. keeping that interception. No, he's my defensive player of the year. Alive, yeah. He's my defensive player of the year right now. They got that thing right now, that connectivity thing that brings the team together. That thing. And those young boys did it. But, but wait until he starts going thing. to get some real quarterbacks and, 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 and he starts getting some. Tom Brady ain't a real quarterback? No, no, I'm not talking okay. about one. And just Justin to hit on a real first quarterback. take, John Justin Gruden Herbie. in hot water over comments that have surfaced. Stephen A. and Michael's <laughs> thoughts on that controversy shortly. What Plus, the quarterback the down the AFC is something to <laughs> behold. <laughs> Which one of these teams has proven they are the best team? We get into it. One crispy Kentucky Fried Chicken Sandwich for you. And a delicious crispy spicy one for whoever needs a little kick in the keister. Get the Kentucky Fried Chicken Sandwich in classic or spicy for just $3.99. It's finger licking good. Oh, this world's a little crazy. Oh, you are mine. is calling you to the Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary Celebration. So what came first, the grilled cheese or the burger? So you know the burger had to come first. You go back hundreds of years. I know cheese has been around hundreds of years too. Uh, okay, Sonic Grilled Cheese Double Burger. So Wow, this is a good debate. What's up y'all, it's Ice T. Now you never know what's going to go wrong with your car. It could be a transmission. Could be the timing chain or that check engine light. Now, can I tell the future? Absolutely not. But I do know it's not a matter of if your car will break down, but when. And before that happens, you should call my friends at Car Shield. Their administrators pay for expensive car repairs so you don't have to. If it wasn't for Car Shield, I would have paid a lot of money out of pocket and I would have been too happy. When I bought my used car, I didn't expect any problems right away. But when it broke down, I'm glad I had Car Shield. So in one year, I saved $2,500. That's amazing. I don't worry about car breakdowns because I have CarShield. CarShield is like a guard dog protecting my wallet. 
which gives me real peace of mind when I drive. And you can take that to the bank. Protect yourself now against expensive auto repair bills. Call 800-756-4221. 800-756-4221. Here is the total estimate for your root canal and crown. $2,400? I can't afford that. You need to buy a dental savings plan like I have. Susie Orman? You bet. Look, whether you're going for cleanings, x-rays, braces, whatever, you are going to save money. Just go to dentalplants.com. I promise you, you will not regret it. Bottom line is this. I don't pay full price at the dentist and neither should you. Call 888-417-5788 and get $40 off any plan. Are you ready for some foot? Hey, voiceover guy, football's back. Let's act like it. You know what, Justin? You're right. Are you ready to hang out and cook food in a parking lot again? Are you ready for 18 weeks of NFL action? Ready. I was born ready. Yeah, baby. Are you ready for all the fans to come back and cheer as one? Nearly 25 years ago, lawmakers passed comprehensive internet regulations. What happened after that? If the internet has come a long way, shouldn't internet regulations too? Life is all about choices. You could put it in there. Or get it repaired fast. You could handle with care or get an expert on the case. You could set it aside or come inside and let us get to work. So why go it alone? Visit your local you break I Fix today for fast, easy repairs. Your tech fixed by Assurian. Welcome back to First Take. John Gruden again said he is not a racist after his Las Vegas Raiders lost their first game since the revelation of the head coach's 2011 remarks about players union leader Demora Smith. Gruden apologized for his insensitive remarks when asked about the decade-old emails following the Raiders' 20-9 loss to the Chicago Bears. Here's Gruden. All I can say is I'm not a racist. I don't, uh, I can't, uh, Tell you how sick I am. I apologize again to, to, to D. Smith, um, but I feel good about who I am and what I've done my entire life. And um, I apologize for the insensitive remarks. I had uh, no, uh, you know, I, I, I had no racial uh, intentions with those remarks at all. But um, yes, they can. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not like that at all. But I apologize. I don't want to keep addressing it. I can't remember a lot of the things that transpired 10 or 12 years ago, but um, I stand here uh, in front of everybody apologizing. I know I'm not, uh, I don't have an ounce of, of racism in me. Okay, that was John Gruden, his former player, Keyshawn Johnson, addressing the incident earlier. Take a listen. He's a bad person. I tried to tell people this when I played for this man, but I was, the, I was in the wrong. Keyshawn, oh, Keyshawn just a small brat. Oh, Keyshawn just a diva. Oh, Keyshawn just wants the football. But here we are now, however many years later, and stuff is coming to the surface. And now look what we're dealing with. We're dealing with some race and sensitive behavior by a head coach who many thought didn't even deserve the opportunity to coach the Raiders. But guess what? He did. And now this is what we're dealing with. And, that, and you got to deal with that locker room. We saw yesterday on the football field what that locker room turned out to be, which is an L. You don't think that was heavy on them black players and some of the white players' mind? Hell yeah, it was. Okay. A lot to unpack here. Stephen A., I'll start with you. What do you think should happen to John Gruden? Not a damn thing. Other than what's happening to him. Um... He has to stand before black men, knowing what you said. Um, it was racially irris uh, insensitive. It was irresponsible. Um, and there are people that are going to view him as a racist now. And he has to live with that. But as it pertains to what should happen to him, 
I want to emphasize this. He should not be fired, nor should he be suspended. He was not working for the NFL in 2011, a decade ago when this email uh, was, was when, he, when he wrote this email. I believe it was to Bruce Allen, who was running the Redskins at the time, and he was, uh, he was close with uh, Bruce Allen from their days back in the day with the Raiders or whatever. Uh, but he was not with the NFL. He was working for us here at ESPN doing Monday Night Football. And so when you take that into consideration, the fact of the matter is, is that I don't believe that the NFL should have any jurisdiction to do anything with him based on an email that circulated from a decade ago. If that's the case, I got news for you. There's a whole bunch of people that's in the world of trouble. When we get to sit up there and reflect back on things that we said or, you know, emails that we did, that, that, that we may have written from a decade ago or more. There's a whole bunch of people in this world that's going to be trouble. That's going to be in a world of trouble. If, if that's the litmus test or if that's the standard by which uh, we get uh, to decide whatever ramifications or repercussions need to come in somebody's way in terms of their job security and what have you. That is separate and apart from what I feel. I don't believe that John Gruden should be fired. I don't believe that he should be suspended. But I do believe that he deserves the black community and a whole bunch of white folks as well looking at him with a raised eyebrow like, who are you? What kind of person are you? And, and what, would, what would make you say what you said? And obviously they're going to they're gonna lean towards race. And for John Gruden, in case you don't understand, sir, let me explain to you why that is. When you pointed to Demoris Smith, the form, uh, you know, the executive director of the NBA play, uh, the NFL Players Association, I'm sorry. First of all, you called them dumb or dumb or is Smith, okay, in the email. Well, you questioning his intelligence. We could call Demoris Smith a lot of things. Dumb ain't one of them. Yeah. Dumb ain't one of them. That brother's smart now, okay? So. That's a stereotype that black men in leadership positions have been right. trying to fend off for the longest time. That's why the first order of business is to establish respect, not love, not adulation. It's respect, respect for my competence, my level of excellence and what I bring to the table and doing what I do. That's number one. Then you go to the, you know, lips like Michelin tires. Well, we all know what, they, what, what you're trying to connotate with that because black people have been dealing with that forever. Now you didn't, then you try to cover it up which basically omits or, or, or just dissipates the substance of your apology. Why, John Gruden? Because when you said that, you said, well, I wasn't meaning anything racial by it. That's usually what I call people who are liars. Who the hell believes that? I mean, I'm wondering, that, that, that one statement that he made right there made me wonder, is he around? I had to remember he was a coach just to remind myself that he's been around black people. Because how in God's name could you possibly think? That 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 excuse would fly. It's almost like the, the cover up's the, worse the, than the, the cover crime up's worse than the crime. Okay, almost, it. almost. Here's what I will say. John Gruden worked at this network. Every experience I had with him, the man couldn't have been nicer, couldn't have been yeah. kinder. Um, and he loves football. You could talk football with him all day. So anybody that's looking for me to castigate this man's character overall. I'm not doing that. That's not the John Gruden that I saw, that I worked, that, that I worked alongside as a colleague here, okay? Mike Tirico said the same thing on NBC last night because obviously he used to do Monday Night Football for us with John Gruden, yeah. and he would know. The great <clears throat> Tony Dungy accept his apology as his word. I can't ignore that either. Right. And, 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 but I will say this. Keyshawn Johnson. His words are just as significant as both Mike Tirico and Tony Dungy in an opposite way. Because Keyshawn Johnson, A, played for this man, won a Super Bowl with this man. And more importantly, what Keyshawn told y'all today, Keyshawn told me for years. He has always felt that way about John Gruden. His words have been incredibly consistent. We just need to pay attention to the fact that at no time during Keyshawn's diatribe, at least according to the sound that I heard, did he say the man was a racist? Right. And because he didn't say that, and because that wasn't my experience, right. I'm going to say to you, I'm going to take John Gruden at his word because I've never seen anything otherwise from him.
But what he said was irresponsible. It was hurtful. It connotated race, racist behavior. And he need, and, and, you know, I think his comeuppance is sitting and standing before black men, knowing everybody's looking at you with a raised eyebrow now, wondering what you really think about black people. And, and Stephen, you, you, you guys, you guys talk about it. And, and, and honestly, it, it blows my mind that anyone, you know, in the position that Coach Gruden has been in for a lot of years, been in that kind of time around uh, African Americans, would, would, would think that it's okay to put that in an email and send it. God knows I've said some stupid things. I've said some crazy things to, to friends. You're out, you're having a good time, drink, whatever you, you say it, you know what I mean? All of us. But, 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 but none with an intent to harm in any way. None with an intent to harm. We just went through, uh, and, and still dealing with, I'm not minimizing that, the social injustice in this mm -hmm. country. And, and at the time, there were a lot of people coming out saying, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And, and, and it was a joy to see them say it. But even when they were saying it, I was sitting here thinking, I hear what you're saying, but I want to check your footprints in the sand. What have you done? Like, I don't want you to just say something without looking at what you have done or even after you say it, mm -hmm. looking at what you're going to do. I want to see your footprints in the sand. What have you done? Are you just saying it? Because I don't want you just saying it to clear you if you haven't done anything about what you're saying, you know? So, so first of all, him giving an apology, when I watched his apology, I, 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 I appreciate him giving an apology, but what I, what, what I did take kind of something to was him trying to end it. Mm. When you're the perpetrator, you can't end it. You can give an apology and you can let the people that you offended heal and then they say it's over. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I don't want to answer any more questions about it. You, you can't end it that way. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't work that way. But, but John Gruden said something, and you said something. You said you talk to people who know who has been around time around them. Because when you are the perpetrator, you, 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 you speak it for yourself. Your words carry no weight. So you have to go to the other people that are close with him and try to ascertain more things about him. So Coach Dungey, I'm with you. I, I, I give that. Coach Dungey, those guys are very credible and they spend a lot of time with him. So I do believe and accept his apology. But I, and I don't believe he should be fired. I don't believe he should be mm -hmm. uh, punished. Mm -hmm. But I do want to continue to check his footprints in well, the sand. I exactly. And not only that, you might, you might look for some other emails or, or, or search around and see what he said to other people to know what kind of person that you're dealing with uh, in the few, you know, moving forward. Because again, you know, you're a black man, you roll up in front of John Gruder right now, you're going to look at him with a raised eyebrow. That's just the reality of the situation. Now let's get to a point because it's very, very important that I bring this up, y'all. You brought up the whole social justice, uh, the whole social justice movement in the aftermath of George Floyd's killing and what have you. Molly, you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to say this with Michael Irvin right here. When I talked about him being killed and we talked about the protests that were taking place in the streets, I said it wasn't just about the knee on the neck for more than nine minutes of George Floyd. Metaphorically speaking, that's how black people have felt coming out of the womb in terms of how we have felt about and treated by America. Why is that relevant where it comes to John Gruden? Let's go football. John Gruden wins the Super Bowl championship in 2002. He stays there coaching in Tampa Bay for the next four years. He makes the playoffs two times. That is it. John Gruden has now, I'm talking about in six years, six years after that, he goes to the playoffs two times, missed the playoffs four. John Gruden has now coached in the NFL for the last 10 years. He has two playoff appearances, but he got a $100 million contract with bonuses that can elevate that salary to $118 or $120 million. For anybody that's wondering why the Oakland, or sorry, the Las Vegas Raiders players themselves might be a bit reluctant to speak out about how they truly, truly feel, that might be the reason why, because John Gruden, for all intended purposes, ain't going anywhere, but they might. And so you got to remember that, and that might have some trepidation, some hesitancy to be as open as they can possibly be. So I don't know how seriously we take his players 
and what they have to say simply because of the compromising position that they're being. It's not cast. It's not it's not casting any aspersions on them whatsoever. They're just not in a position of power. When you look at somebody like a John Gruden, black America looks at stuff like that and they say, this is this is how they think about us. This is how they feel about us, which is why for me, I'm a little bit different. When I see people on the air and they're getting emotional and they're all upset yeah. about John Gruden, we have a right to feel that way. Me personally, never phases me because I think that they usually feel that way about us anyway. My point is, is that it's not every white person. I run across a lot of good white people, a lot of good white executives, to be quite honest with you, that are very fair minded. All right. And go about the business of conducting themselves and would never do or say such a thing. But when you talk to your friends and you hear about their issues in the workplace and how executives talk about people, and how they felt about people, even with the whole social justice movement. Well, you know what? When we go get over this, I'm sick of this. You hear white executives say stuff like that, not realizing that black folks hear what's going on. My point is, when I heard what John Gruden said. And I realized how it was connotated, how it was received by folks in the black community. All I thought about was, I'm not surprised in the slightest. It's just the latest of what we always have to deal with. No matter how you smile in our face, behind our back, not all, not most, but far too many in positions of power and influence, this is how they truly feel. Can I and that's why I don't let it break me. Because it ain't breaking me. I just expect it. And you have to prove to me that you are otherwise. And I, I respect that opinion. Can I just say one thing that I think is ironic? Yeah. When the, the mention of physical features, do you know how many people are running to the doctor's office yes. to get Lip physical implants. features? Yes. Uh, is it called what it is? Lip implants? Yes. There's, of, there's a whole bunch of people of doing black that. women. But yes. yeah, and, and all of it. Yes. And, and all different, yes. and, and all different yes. physical features. Yes. I don't want to yes. go into detail. Yes. But don't yes. t don't tell me black's not beautiful. Uh, we yes. we will we'll, we'll leave it right there. Yeah. Uh, still to come on first take, Stephen A. and Michael are asked who they see coming out of the absolutely loaded NFC. Kyler starts Dallas and Dak Brady and the Cowboys. Only one can win. Plus, Josh Allen and the Bills look like they're no joke, or perhaps Mahomes and company may have lost something. Stephen A. on Casey's chances. Mahomes, Allen, Herbert, Dak, Brady. Who's the best quarterback? in the league right now. Buckle up for that debate. And are the fellas less confident in the Packers after their narrow win to Joe Burrow and the Bengals? We get into that wild one in Cincy. Plus, Alabama falling Stephen A. The greatest fight in recent memory. Fury Wilder 3. Are the Raiders done? And what coach was crying post-game and why? Keep it locked. Fresh hour of first take on the way. Last night, the Bills beat down the Chiefs 38-20 to in an AFC title game rematch. Josh Allen threw for 315 yards and three touchdowns and ran for a fourth, while Patrick Mahomes finished with 272 and two touchdowns to go with two interceptions and a lost fumble. After the game, Andy Reid talked about what went wrong. I didn't see this coming, uh, and I, uh, not tonight, this, this game, tonight I came in thinking, we had a chance to win the game, and uh, we didn't handle ourselves the right way. And so um, that's my responsibility, and to get that, get that right. Ryan Clark joining us. RC, what's the good word? Well, the good word is I'm about to be 42 tomorrow. I'm excited to join you guys. I wish I was getting some of that L.A. weather, though. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my Thank brother. Thank you. Happy birthday, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I appreciate the way you represent Libra Nation. Way to go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know how I we do. I love that you know your Zodiac sign. I would <laughs> never <laughs> picture that with yeah, you. I, do. I, I do. mean, of I course, do. Brick knows his Zodiac sign. Oh, my <laughs> right, goodness. That's right, that's right. RC, I'll, I'll start with you. Uh, can the Chiefs return to a third straight Super Bowl, or do you have question marks after what you're seeing? Absolutely not. I don't even have question marks. The Chiefs, okay. as constructed right now, cannot return to a third Super Bowl. And when you look at this team, they just can't play defense. Think about the way Josh Allen was running the football early on in this football game. Even the called runs by Coach Dayball, their offense coordinator. You know why? It's because they knew that no one was going to be physical enough on that defense to hurt their franchise quarterback. This team has totally been dominated defensively this entire year. And what have we always seen from the Kansas City Chiefs? No matter how they play defensively, no matter how much they got down, that Patrick Mahomes and this offense could find ways to 
to score points and get this team back in the game. Well, guess what? Patrick Mahomes can't do that anymore. And also, there's not this large gap between Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the quarterbacks. And that's if you're talking about Tom Brady, if you're talking about Aaron Rodgers, if you're talking about Josh Allen, you're talking about Justin Herbert. This team is in trouble right now, guys. If they don't find ways, Chris Jones, who ended, ended up getting injured, if they don't find ways to make Chris Jones active, if Tyron Matthew isn't making plays on the back end, they can't get a stop. And so this Kansas City Chief team right now is a team that we might not see in the AFC Championship, but we might not see them in the playoffs. They better be happy that there are seven spots right now each year in each division. Uh, RC, man, and listen, uh, uh, are, you, are you saying that the greatest young quarterback that we have in this game, and it's an offensive game, it's an mm -hmm. offensive game right now, mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. get this team to a Super Bowl with the Absolutely talent not. he has around him. Now, now, no. let, 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 listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Who's the because number three, the, Mike? What, what are you saying? Who's the number three? All right, so we got we got Tyreek Hill. You got Travis right. Kelsey, right? Th think about the Dallas Cowboys, right? How, how, how they right. could go C.D. Lamb, Amari Cooper, even Cedric Wilson, right. Gallup when he's healthy, Schultz in the red zone. The Kansas City Chiefs don't have that right now, Mike. And defensively, they are trash. Like, not bad, absolute Hot garbage. You can't and, win in the AFC like that. And they're obviously looking for that number three, if you want to call it that. That's why they brought in Josh Gordon, hopefully, he, to get him to help make some plays. But when you have this kind of explosion on offense, it, it, right, now, it, right now, teams are playing deep and stopping mm -hmm. the Kansas City Chiefs offense. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not going to happen all year. That's not going to mm -hmm. trust me. That's not going to happen all year. Every team is not mm -hmm. going to go up and down the field on the Chiefs defense. Trust me, that's not going to happen every year. They, 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 they play, what, what are you saying? They play Washington next. You think Washington's offense going to go up and down? <laughs> so, 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 so as they start getting into some of these other games, and the teams they have played, they've had a tough schedule. They've had a tough schedule. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, it's like, what, what are you raising your hand for like we in class? <laughs> <laughs> According to you, I'm supposed to be a student because you're supposed to be the teacher, right? But, uh, so I am. Oh, okay, 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 my okay, hand. Okay, my my question, man, my my question to you question? is this. Who the hell should trust you? You've been you, talking smack for years and you were wrong. Been coming up short for years and you were wrong. Waving pom-poms for years and, got, and wait, you wait, were wrong. Why the hell should there. we trust we're not, you? I, well, don't yeah. trust you of all people. Don't trust me. Why? Because not, not the Cowboys. Trust the resume. Trust the resume. I'm just telling you trust what I'm saying, but trust the resume that Patrick Mahomes has laid down I, before I, you. I, I, trust I, the resume that Tyreek Hill has laid down before you. you trust the resume of Andy Reid and Travis Kelsey. Play what about the resume of their deal? Hold on, hold on, RC. You, ahead, can, you can piggyback on me because you know you can cover me with this one, bro. Here's the deal. You saw <laughs> the Super Bowl last year, didn't you? Did you do the Super Bowl last year? I saw the Super Bowl right, last no, no, year. Let me invent it. Who Super was Bowl. Tom Brady picking on and talking uh, smack oh, to in the football? Thank you for bringing this in, up. In because let me tell you something. Oh, I, I recall it being Tyran Matthew, the honey badger. And so what I'm saying oh. is this. This is the guy that we were listening. I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to not. I love the honey badger and I believe oh. in him. As a matter of fact, he's one of the few people exactly. I believe in on that defense. But the bottom line is we saw a legend pick him apart. Last time I checked, football is about to take. It's about going to the videotape. It's about reviewing what's transpired right. and why right, right, it transpired right. the way that it did and, and making sure to emulate successful habits and eradicate bad ones. And what ooh. I'm saying to you is this. When you look at the Kansas City Chiefs right now, <laughs> their defense has been hot garbage since the Super Bowl. They 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 got so they got so pimp slapped, okay? That these wow. dudes, that these dudes ended up showing up this season and they looked and they looked I, I, just I'm, as I'm bad as they did. And the Super Bowl. Give it what about that? Give it a four-down conversions. Give yeah, it a four-down that Ryan. conversions, all of that. They look like they look soft. Well, they look, but you let gave me, me a revelatory BC gift. FCC you gave me a revelatory okay. gift that I want to get to. Ryan, you guys want to drop. Gift. Yes, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Go ahead, go ahead Ryan. Hey, I don't, even, drop I don't, don't even know what that is. That that must be some stuff I that do. Jerry Jones give out on his yacht. It's the gift I don't know, of I don't revelation when he said no, it. Ryan, it was a gift of revelation when he said it, when he dropped it on me, when he talked about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and last year because they started kind of like the Chiefs. No, I said the Super Bowl. Year. Right, right, right. You talked about the Super Bowl. Yeah, and We're in, playing Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I'm telling you, that gave me the gift. To, uh, go back. Tampa Bay started like this last year. And everybody said, oh, my God. I don't know. I don't, False. I don't know. Wrong. Mike, right. Play right. Maker. Not play like maker. This. Their offense was struggling yeah. early, not their defense. That play, is not play true. Maker. But, but it's still, they started, they started poorly record-wise. Yes. They started hey, poorly record-wise. Yeah, yes, Ryan.
Hey, talking about though. Right now, right now, you acting like you got Nelly and Adam Sandler as your quarterback. Stop it. What you what <laughs> what you are saying is not making any sense, right? Because it's not what the Tampa the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were a team that had never played right. together. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers were right. a team that didn't right. have an offseason. This is the right. Kansas City Chiefs. This is the same Patrick Mahomes, right. the same Andy Reid, the same Travis Kelsey that we've always right. seen. But it doesn't right. matter. Steve Spagnola doesn't have this defense making plays, right? They're not turning the football over. They can't pressure the quarterback. Where is where are we going to find the one trait that makes us feel like this defense can actually do something well right if it's not Tyron Matthew making plays against the Baltimore Ravens what we saw early in the season in his first game off of the COVID list they haven't made plays the entire year this team has been totally sold out by their defense and Patrick Mahomes can no longer bail them out so unless and, and, and Pat goes on one on the of these head. MVP streaks we're in trouble we are yeah, in trouble in Kansas City head. In, in this one sense, that that defense is though it's not playing great. If the defense can just start getting some turnovers like they did a couple years ago, that's not then, if they could just start getting, but but see that's a possibility of happening. And 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 you know what Patrick Mahomes can be. That's why you cannot count out Kansas City. Well, I'm, you, I don't you know, know how you guys count out. I'm, I'm looking play at the rest play of the AFC. I'm looking at Buffalo. I'm looking at Cleveland. I'm looking at Baltimore. Yeah, I'm but, looking at the Chargers. All they gotta do is get that's in. Hey Molly, here's in a good thing. Molly, they got extra game in. You can tell. Birthday you can boy, tell you can tell that for the last quarter century, Michael Irvin has been supporting the Cowboys because he's super optimistic. Right. He he's learned how to be in the face of knowing that your team's not going to win anything. To he's learned to be optimistic. optimistic. And we this is why he's great on first take. On the football field. We got in the read coaching and you have Tyreek Hill. You got you got what you need. I understand it ain't going great right now, but you got what you need and you got it on offense. You got a system that works. That defense can start getting some turnovers yeah. and think things can change just We're, like that. And they ain't doing anything because of their defense. We ain't talking about their offense. I know, know that's what dog. you're saying. Their defense is trash. And trash. the offense can be so explosive at times that that can cover that. They Very just have to figure that out. strong today, Stephen A. Trash. trash. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot, trust a lot me, man. I can't believe Patrick Mahomes. Today. Oh, my God. But Aaron Rodgers bad, man. He, he always got a shot. He's a bad man. All right. We, All right. Come on. And Green Bay's defense ain't as bad as Kansas City's. No, 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 we'll get into uh, that. I'm sorry, can't see worse. Excuse me, that. excuse me. We're okay. we're gonna get there. Okay. Let's save it. Okay. Ryan, always good to see you. Happy you birthday. Hope Happy it's great. Birthday. Hey, hey, Ryan, you. Good. Good. Oh, Happy birthday. Ryan, Ryan, you tell your family like I tell mine when it's my birthday. Please don't buy me any gifts with my money. Just say no. 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 happy no. birthday no. and keep no. it moving. No. Please don't hey, buy Dad, me any gifts. I gotta get you something. Can you give me some I gotta cash? remember that myself. Oh, I gotta my remember God. that myself. Yeah. Yeah. Come to yeah. ask. Get yeah. some money to get your yeah. gift. No, don't worry about oh, it. My oh my goodness. Hey. So true. Uh, so the gun. How about them cowboys? We know Michael's answer, but is it time for Stephen A. to admit? Let's do this. The Cardinals defense dominated in their 70 to 10 win over the Niners. They improved to 5 and 0 for the first time since 74. Kyler Murray completed 22 of 31 passes for 239 yards. Hopkins caught 6 passes for 87 yards and a TD. Tommy Brady in the Bucks put a good old-fashioned beat down on the Dolphins, 45 to 17. Brady spread the ball around, thrown for 411 yards, 5 TDs. Mike Evans, Antonio Brown, right? Each had over 2 100 yards. Excuse me, had over 100 yards and two touchdowns. And sticking with the NFC, how about them Cowboys? They made easy work of my Giants. I still say it's a cheap win, Michael, and Sunday's 44-20 win. Dallas now has four – they played the second team, Michael. Dallas now has four straight wins after losing the first game of the season to the Bucks, missing seven of their 11 offensive starters. Oh. But, Michael, you tell me this. Who is your favorite, no. sir? To win the NFC. Yeah. Now, and this is always a discussion because we talk who's the who's the best team, who's the favorite, the favorite to win the NFC. Yeah. I, I I do believe when you start talking about going through the playoffs, that you got to start considering that playoff that playoff experience and and who has played like that, who's come through in the clutch all the time. And Tom Brady has certainly all the time come through in the clutch. So so I would have the Bucks there because of that, and you're seeing what he's doing right now with Tom Brady. Oh my God, where he played yesterday was incredible. Man, that 144 passer rating. I don't I don't even know how high passer ratings go, but I don't think they go much higher than 144. You know, coming off of what happened in, in New England. You you Tom Brady's playing well. Yeah. But boy, them Cowboys right there too. See, you, uh, you, the Bucks. I, I gotta have the Bucks up here because of Tom and his pedigree. But the Cowboys, 
oh my God, I just talked about why I have the Cowboys here as the most balanced team out there in the National Football League, offense and defense. I got the Cowboys too. I, 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 I like what I'm seeing out of the Cardinals. I like what I'm seeing. I got them in their third, right behind the Bucks in the Cowboys. Oh, wait, wait, my what are you God. Like that for, you, man? you got to be kidding me. What are you looking like that All for, of this man? talking you've been doing about the Cowboys and the, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. All of this talking you've been doing about the Cowboys and they ain't even your favorites in the NFC. In the I just NFC told right you what I'm doing. You, you snuck it really? in. No, really? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you you know, know, there are two discussions here. That was the best team in the NFL right now in NFC favorite. There were two discussions. Best team right now who's playing right now. NFC favorite. Who has to go through a playoff? I got to count in experience. blessing us. Come on, I got to bring that into the account Is that you now? Are you blessing us with the gospel now? I'm like you playing the piano? The gospel? Really? Get out of here, man. That's nonsense. Oh, please. Just be quiet. You got an opportunity right here on national television yeah. to sit up there and say that the Cowboys are finished. Oh, no, no. I'm just oh, going no, no, no. to go right now. Handshake it. And I, I, I cannot you know, oh, exclude please. Tom Brady. When you, play, when you play the organ, is that I what you're trying to do? I cannot exclude. Oh, please. I cannot uh, exclude Tom excuse Brady. Me. And excuse what he has me, done. Excuse me. All the talk you've been talking. Oh, man, look at Dak Prescott and the way. Right. And we got not one, but two dudes at the running back spot, Stephen A. We got set up there, Amari Cooper. We got right. we got CeeDee Lamb, right, right, Wilson, right, right, and Paul. Right, 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 Gallup right, right. ain't even been in the lineup. He's been in, uh, he'll be hey, back. Excuse me. You said all of that. And then you talk about talk. Trayvon Diggs. Look at that, brother. The other Diggs. Oh. All right. you and we ain't all talking that. enough oh, about Diggs today. All I'm trying to say to you is this. You talking all of that stuff. And you can't even pick the Cowboys as your favorites oh, in the oh, NFC. They oh, four on one. Really? You right. nonsense. Because you know. Because you know. Because you know I what's seen. going. You know, you know what's going to happen. First of all, let me, let tell, me, you tell, you, right, I, let me tell you right now. Let me tell you. you want to talk about Week Five? That's fine. I ain't talking about Week Five. We talk about favorites in the NFC. I'm gonna tell you who I got. Oh. I got Arizona. I got. Tampa Bay. Matter of fact, I'll put Tampa Bay first and then Arizona, even though Arizona's undefeated. I'll damn sure put them before the Cowboys. But I'll damn sure put them before the Cowboys. Excuse me, because of why Kyle Murray, Tampa? because of DeAndre Hopkins, because no, no, of AJ Green. Tampa because first, of Christian why, why you got Tampa first? Because to me, to me, I never deviated from Tom Brady. I never okay. deviated okay. from Tom Brady. Okay. Right. You right. are. So hold on, wait no, a minute. No. Hold on, wait a minute. I got I got Aaron Rodgers. Because let me tell you something right now. Aaron Rodgers, that bad man that he is. Be very, okay. very clear. When you got an experienced quarterback and you got something to worry about, we'll see what Trayvon Diggs and the secondary and the crew in Dallas mm. defense. Mm. We'll see what they do. Mm. He's setting it up. Give me your order. He's setting it up. He's setting it up. He's setting it up. Tampa Bay. He's setting it up. Tampa Bay. Okay. This is, this is, this is <laughs> NFC favorites, right? Yeah, right, let's go. I got okay. Tampa Bay. Okay. I got Arizona. Okay. I got Green Bay. Okay. Before I even get to the Cowboys. Oh, what about the Rams? Oh, please. Oh, please. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stop, Excuse stop, me. Stop. I don't stop. like the way the Rams Cincinnati defense just has took, looked. Took the, the, Packers. The, Rams, the Rams defense. So what? It's one game. You just said it's one game. Did you just say it was one game? I'm just saying what you think the Cowboys are going to do to the Packers. I thought you just said it was one game. So now we want to. So now what do you think they're going to do? Since he did what? Since he did what? Come on, man. We're getting into that. We're getting into that. Let me give you this. Let me tell you why. I have to. I put Tampa first. I put Tampa first. Why? Why? But now what I'm watching, as I'm telling you, Matt, because when I'm not pulling out a single game, I'm watching the progress of each team through the season. And, and, and right now, I'll still leave Tampa there because of Tom Brady, okay. but because of how Cowboys played them in the first game, the game you want to throw out for every other team, the Cowboys stood up and showed up and played them to well, a, why a hundred percent. Why don't you call the Cowboys be, be, the favorite there? Why don't you call them the favorite there? Well, 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 why well, well, not? Because, because their defense is definitely the better than Tampa Bay. Because it don't matter who starts right? out winning the race. He trusts it, Tom Brady it, it, more. Didn't we not learn last year from Tom Brady and the Bucks that it doesn't matter who starts out winning the How race, you Rabbit? You just got to finish the race. You got to be. You got to finish the race in the Cowboys. Right. It's how well you finish pathetic. and they are You're pathetic. They're You're moving pathetic. great. I like this. I like this. I like this. You got, this. How you got to see he's it. Se- right okay. now, this is how you got to see it. Separating Make himself. It you have to see if you can build the champion. Yeah, yeah, tricks are for kids. Yes. Yeah. Right. He's making it. He's separating go. himself from the Cowboy go. fan base. Hopping all around. Right. I'm not separating myself from the Cowboy fan base. We need to talk about Aaron Rodgers. You brought it up. Tampa. 
we'll beat Drew, Tampa next time we see him. He's still that bad man, but uh, Green him. Bay eking it out by Cincy. Are the fellas less confident in the Packers now? I told you we're going to see him again. He ain't going to see him again. we do. He's see him, he'll be watching. One of the craziest games of the season, Mason Crosby missed three straight potential winning field goal attempts, which he never does, before hitting a 49-yarder in overtime to lift Green Bay over Cincinnati. The game saw five missed field goals before the Packers finally won. Stephen A., tell me this. Because Cincy took them to the brink, ultimately, obviously, the Packers winning, are you more or less confident in Green Bay now? Oh, I'm not less confident in Green Bay at all. These are things that happen over the course of a regular season. I mean, I'm not concerned about them. Oh. If the defense had given up 40 or 50 points, it would be different. I, but that's I, not I, what transpired yesterday. That happened. That happened. This, 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 yeah. this, this is this, this <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Hold on, this is Aaron Rodgers we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Let me tell you, so you why did it come you, down to field goals if it's Aaron Rodgers? Uh, again, because, again, it's one afternoon on Sunday, oh. any given Sunday, baby. Okay. The six inches in front of your face. <laughs> okay, that's Al Pacino <laughs> says it, okay. I, any I'm given gonna, Sunday. I'm going to remember These are the kind of things that happen. Hold on, I can say that is applicable to an Aaron Rodgers. More so than it's applicable to a Dak Prescott oh, or somebody along the – or Baker Mayfield. This is Aaron freaking Rodgers we're right. talking about. He's right. a bad man, okay? So guess what? You put him in position, personally speaking, I would have preferred more uh, 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 trips to the end zone than you put Mason Crosby in a position to miss three damn field goals, which he never <laughs> does. But in the end, I'm not concerned about Green Bay. I want to take a moment – to give the Cincinnati Bengals some props. They've been competitive. I like right. what I'm seeing from Joe Burrow. Thank God he didn't get injured because yeah. he took a nasty fall yeah. yesterday, and I thought he was going to end up injured, but ultimately he got up. Oh. Jamar, Jamar Chase is a stud. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's be real about him. Wow. This brother's a stud. Reminds me of you, Playmaker. Reminds wow. me of you a little bit. Now, I wish God that? gave me that kind of speed. You don't have that. You didn't have that Boy, kind of speed. Boy, God ain't love but, me that but, much. But, 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 don't but, say well, that. No, I, don't that's say Jamar, that. That's Jamar Chase. That bad. Can, that's a bad that brother right there. And That's Burrow true. is something special himself. I like what I'm seeing from Cincinnati. I think they're a credible, right. respectable yeah. team on the on the come up. Let's give Coach Zach Taylor some props. He seems to be doing a good job with them, and I and I like what I'm seeing from them. But 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 they don't have Aaron Rodgers, okay? And so what happens is is that when you've got an Aaron Rodgers, so what? It's one game. They struggled on this particular Sunday afternoon. Was, Probably oh, took it for granted. Down. Didn't really want to be there to begin with, but ended up being in Cincinnati a few miles from Louisville and all of that stuff. I say, all right, okay, we got to be here. We might as well play. This is what it is. They had it. It's just one of those games. But I look at Green Bay. I look at Aaron Jones. I look at Devontae Adams. I see what, what that Aaron Rodgers leads the way. The defense is not Devontae as poor Adams as Kansas City. The, the defense is not uh, not Kansas City's. I'm not sorry. I'm not losing any faith in Green Bay. Right, and you got you got a shot with those two dudes right there that they are playing. I just told you the teams are going to make you use your left hand. So, they, but but Aaron Rodgers can find other ways and win football games. That's why I, I like it, I, I like their chances still to get have an opportunity. Let me tell you something. Cincinnati was impressive. That's impressive yeah. what what has happened with Cincinnati. Uh, you you got to say what you were the, the way. That game went down. Just that field goal. Oh, my God. That was insane. And then field goal kick messed it up. Back, you going to hit the flag goal. instead of Oh, my of God. <laughs> and, 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 and thought he hit it. And this was the funny part. This is the funny part. Like, like in the after interviews, you see the coach and Aaron Rodgers. Oh, well, yeah, we had men say he we, had, we knew he could hit it. We knew he could hit it. But they went and asked, you think you can do this? That's right. Well, if you had plenty of faith, why you ask the man? Right. Why do you just say, go kick it? You wanted to you know see whether or not he lost his confidence. Right, right, he was right. Having a bad day. So you he was having a bad right, day. Listen, right, listen, right. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> this is what you ask from time to time. Now, everybody, I mean, some people, listen, they ain't as bad as UConn and UMass. You remember, they were playing. I mean, they're college oh. football teams. They're the worst in the country. Oh, I mean, good my Lord. Oh, good Lord. Maybe I shouldn't have become an Alabama fan or USC or Michigan. Are, it's just one thing you should. See, you might be trying. Just, It'll just, do a lot for the confidence. Whatever. It'll do a lot for the confidence, Molly. And, 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 and this man's all hyped. That's the second team of that's, Giants. I mean, that, get out of here, that, both of you. That's not the second team. And you're team. trying that's, to act like the Packers team. are so good. You have them fourth in the and, NFC. So, so four, relax. Four, four. Okay? <laughs> With, with Aaron yeah, Rodgers I thought he's that bad man. The Giants look good. The Giants were in with really? the Cowboys until everybody went down <laughs> oh, on the see, team. I know it. Don't, no, don't, don't worry. Like you look like one guy after the next episode. You talk to me when everyone gets knocked at. You have no receiving core. You have no quarterback. You don't have Saquon Barkley. It's a hard week. It's a hard week for you, Molly. We understand. We understand.
<laughs> it's been a hard one. Understand, Molly? Don't be all right. Don't. It's going to this be all right. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> going, I want to go. Don't let him mess with you. I'm playing with you. I'm sorry, Molly. Don't let him mess with you, Molly. I'm sorry for bringing up 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 you, Molly. I'm sorry for bringing up